on any of the beautiful reaches of the Thames, or around any of the boat club headquarters, <laughs> I beg your pardon, or on any of the towing paths at the regattas, you will find enthusiasts of that most graceful of river sports, punting. Amongst these people, you will find some whose memories go back to the first days of punting. The Oxford English Dictionary gives 1846 as the earliest date of punting. The Thames Punting Club was founded at Sunbury in the year 1886. As we watch the crowds at the 1952 Thames Punting Club Regatta at Maidenhead, we shall see around the tea tent, the prize tent, or more likely judging, starting, or helping in some way, many of the pioneers of punting and some of those following in their footsteps. Bo Rickson, the president of the club, was amateur champion in 1893, 95, and 96, in which year he made the fastest speed down and upstream ever recorded. Edie Hibbard, ladies champion in 1934 and 35, and four times mixed doubles champion, is always to be seen at these regattas. Jean Kershaw, four times ladies champion, and Ronnie Spoor, the present holder of the amateur championship. And here's Vic Woods, the knowledgeable commentator at most of these events. There goes Harry Grimmett, speedy as ever. The 1952 championships were fought out on the Maidenhead course in August, and some very close racing was seen. In the first heat of the amateur championship, Neville Mirai and Steve Richardson met again. On the first leg, neither could claim much advantage, but Richardson made the better turn, and leaving the peck, he appeared to have the race well in hand. On the way back, Miroy gradually crept up, and although both men made superhuman efforts, the result amid great excitement was a dead heat. To reshove, Miroy didn't leave his effort so late and managed to win by half a length. In the next heat, Ronnie Spoor, the holder, met John Everett, and in a very even downstream run, they reached the turn together. Spoor seemed to be racing well within himself, and although Everett made a tremendous effort in the home stretch, he could make no impression on the smooth and unhurried Spoor, who beat the course record by six seconds. After the race, Everett decided that he needed cooling down in preparation for the men's doubles. The final of the amateur championship was a battle between Spoor, the holder, and Mirai, the 1950 champion. It was a very level race until the turn. Spoor, on the outside station, made the better turn, and Mirai, affected no doubt by his prolonged contest with Richardson, never got on terms with him again. One of the heats of the ladies' championship gave us a very close race between Jean Kershaw and Shirley Downs. Miss Downs more than held her own downstream, and making a good turn, led into the homeward stretch. Jean's greater experience and a wholehearted effort in the last hundred yards enabled her to get her canvas in front past the post. A very close race indeed. In the other heat, Delphine Wilkinson had a somewhat easier race in beating Jacqueline Tessier. In the final of the ladies' championship, Miss Delphine Wilkinson, the holder, and Miss Kershaw fought out another of their contests, and after a very close race, Miss Wilkinson won the championship for the second time, beating the course record by four seconds and Edie Hibbard's all-time record by one second. It was a pity that with Eric Haynes unfortunately ill, 
No other contestant came forward to oppose W.F. Wyatt in the professional championship. Wyatt punted over in his usual robust style, beating his previous time by 11 seconds. Graham and Martin of Ditton's beat Wyatt and Maidment in the first heat of the men's doubles. They went on to beat Miroy and Grimmett in the next heat. In the final of the doubles, this redoubtable pair once more pushed their boat to victory against Everett and Andrews, but had a very hard fight indeed. Graham and Martin won by half a length. In the ladies' doubles handicap, Miss Wilkinson and her partner, Mrs. Secretan, beat Miss Kershaw and Miss Bugue and went on to win the final against two very plucky young punters, Miss Gale and Miss Herbert. Miss Shirley Downs, after her narrow defeat by Miss Kershaw in the ladies' championship, was a very worthy winner of the ladies' junior senior in the final of which she beat Mrs. Coles. Mary Roche, seen winning her heat against Miss Lee, went on to win the final of the Ladies' Junior. We shall see the whole of this race, which was fought out with skill and enthusiasm, which were in the finest traditions of the club. With such fine young punters as these in our boat clubs, the future of punting on the Thames is full of promise. Mary Roche of Dittons and Miss Gale, both in their best form, punted neck and neck over the whole course. Going downstream, Miss Roche on the inside station couldn't gain a foot and the girls turned the peck together. Following them in the umpire's launch, we can see that it wasn't until the last few yards that Miss Gale tired to give Mary Roche the victory by less than half a length. In the men's junior, Jack Wyatt of Wargrave, another most promising young punter, beat his fellow clubman Henriques in convincing fashion. Miss Jelfs and John Appleby of Ditton's had no easy task in beating Miss Downs and Peter Graham in the mixed doubles championship. Ditton's skiff and punting club are to be congratulated on winning both doubles championships. Jack Wyatt had a most successful day which he crowned by winning the men's handicap beating another of his fellow clubmen, C. Maidment. <laughs>